morning, it is a release day from Picket Fence Studios and I have here in my hand the October release. So we are going to have a quick little look at that and then of course we're going to be doing some crafting. Uh, in this release, finally, there is dies for some of the previously released stamp sets. So we're going to have a look at that and then also get into the actual new stamp. So this one is thank you and um, it's just a nice little thank you with some extra little stamp sets to kind of make it, you know, more personal. And then we have these cute little bees. And with this one, thankfully there is coordinating dies because I, you know, as a non fan of fussy cutting, I can't imagine like cutting around all these fun little, um, or fine little wings and things. So that's uh, all together and some cute little fun punny sentiments. And then more coffee stamps. This one is called Sponsored by Coffee. And it's full of, uh, well, I say full of this um, coffee stamps. Of course, today's Good Mood Sponsored by Coffee, which is like every day. And uh, I'm just digging through here to find the coordinating dies to cut out the like takeaway tray thing. And uh, then we have this sweet little girl. This is one of the artist, um, uh, also the deer um, selections. And with this one, we also have um, coordinating dies. And you can see there in the top left corner, there's a artist deer um, die cut. And I think actually I might not have the dies for this one. However, there is for the um, your friend deer, and as I said, the artist there, those are new dies from previous releases. And oh, you know me, I love leaves. I really, really like leaves. I, there's something just so beautiful and fun about them. So we have um, three new leaves. So there's um, oak leaves, uh, maple and ash. And then this one is called Buzz. And it's one of our seamless... Uh, background stamps so you know you can do a tiny little uh, little card and this will go super fun with the other little bees so yeah that's great and uh, this one is called wherever you go it has a cute little sort of entryway I guess hallway and some nice little sentiments you know as usual and this I think would look beautiful watercolored or like deeply colored maybe with copings or something like that if you want to just color a lot and then um, so here are some of the um, the dies for previously released stamp sets so we have songbirds and a spooky day now for those little people in the spooky day set these will come in super super handy and also uh, like around the um uh, the trees and the the house this one is a standalone um die called a tree and uh, just a tree, straightforward, very simple to remember. And uh, I'm really looking forward to using that because again, it's a tree and leaves and I like that. And a slimline stencil with rainbows, yay. And a coffee cup and bee hexagon, uh, what's that called? You know, bee wax. No, not bee wax. Ah, it's a stencil anyway. So I'm going to be using this Lumline pencil and I already have a piece of um, a ink blended background. This one I did a while ago. So you might remember I've seen other cards made with exactly the same because I did a huge, huge piece. Uh, I've also sprayed my stencil with Pixie Spray and I'm going to be using Moonstone Glimmer Paste from Nuvo to add sparkle and shine. Because my background is already so colorful, I just wanted to add like sparkles because, you know, sparkles. I don't need any more reason than that, do I? No, I didn't think so. So we're adding a nice thick layer of our uh, glimmer paste. And um, I'm also using an acetate sheet underneath to kind of just catch any messes because it's just so much easier to clean up. And then a quick peel and reveal. And we're gonna put that glittery shimmerness aside to dry. Now, I didn't clean up my stencil, but I got a piece of um, watercolor cardstock, and then I'm using my spatula to press the stencil down again to hopefully grab some of that Nouveau Glimmer Paste 
to add to the cardstock because I want to make something super shimmery. So I have in that little palette there, these are um, re-inkers from Ink on 3, they're called Atelier Inks. And they also have this incredible stuff called Liquid Pixie Dust, which is like shimmer on steroids. It is so, so shimmery and super concentrated. You only need a teeny tiny little drop and you'll be sparkling for days, seriously. So to create sparkly, shimmery watercolors, I came up with a genius idea of dripping in some re into that little palette and mixing them with the liquid pixie dust. So yes, watercolor and shimmer all in one go. I mean, genius, right? Or am I just, I don't know, patting myself on the back a little bit too hard now. But anyway, I thought it was a rather fabulous idea and you will see just how sparkly it comes out when we're gonna do the peel and reveal later. But because I'm using liquid watercolors or liquid medium, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create my rainbow and then we're gonna leave the stencil on top of the paper to dry to hopefully keep the colors in all the little gaps and not everywhere else. So with the help of that and my pixie spray, we're gonna lift this up and just have a little look at it. This is still wet, bear in mind, so it's gonna probably look uh, extra shimmery. But that we're gonna set aside. And now, a day later, uh, it's dry. So we're gonna do the peel and reveal now and um, just see how this came out. I do love a good reveal. That's part of stencil techniques, isn't it? Ah, look at that. I know it doesn't show up as well on film uh, and I'm trying to catch the angles of the lights and stuff, but it is super shimmery in real life and it's really, really great fun. Because of course, you know, I'm a bit of a coffeeaholic, I had to use the coffee stamp set, so I'm going to stamp up my, uh, or the actual coffee cups with black hybrid ink uh, using my Mini Misty. And then I'm going to, uh, I place this so that I can stamp it twice on the same piece of paper just by turning the paper over. And the black hybrid ink is uh, waterproof, uh, it's Copic proof, you can use it with colored pencils and all sorts of different mediums. So I am going to be uh, using Copic, so this is Copic friendly paper. And uh, we're gonna do a very quick coloring session here. Obviously it takes a lot longer in real life, but it's just to give you an idea of some of the colors and looks that I've gone for with, um, with these. And uh, I did not color all four, but I'm pretty sure I did three of them. And then we're going to be using only one of them for this card today, however, uh, the others will be used in cards later. And uh, I do like coloring the same image a, a few times and just trying different colors because, you know, it's nice to see what different results you can get. And here is the first panel. So it's super shimmery and lovely and I love that sparkle. And uh, to finish up the card, I have used the coordinating sponsored by Coffee die cut and also this fun coffee word die. So this I've cut out out of vellum and gold cardstock. And then um, in the Sponsored by Coffee stamp set, there is, as I said, there's a couple of fun sentiments. So I stamped up one in ground espresso, duh, uh, distressed oxide ink, and then I cut that out and we just lay that up. On the second card, I'm going to be using lots of sentiments from Crafty Mail. And I, because I'm a bit of a blah, I, I realized just as I was about to uh, start heat embossing that I hadn't, I was gonna skip over the filming because I don't always remember to film everything. So here we are, we are going to be heat embossing this with rich gold from WOW Embossing. And uh, we're just gonna quickly sprinkle that. And you, you see, I, I, I did go a little bit crazy with all my sentiments, but I was like, well, I like all of these, so I'm gonna stamp them up, heat them, bust them, and then kind of see which ones I'll use. And um, instead of picking one or two, 
I used all of them except for this last one because I did manage to cut that out uh, wonky. And we don't do wonky. Well, sometimes we do wonky, but not necessarily on purpose. However, next time I use this uh, particular sentiment, I probably will cut it out on a banner first because I misjudged how to cut it. So as you can see, uh, using my grid mat here, like the bottom one, it's it's so off. It's just not even, yeah, look, ugh, no, bleh, we're not going to use that one. But I did use all the other ones and uh, I glued them down sort of um, slightly offset and some of them, you know, because they're so big, will go from left to right and just cover the whole thing. And uh, I have actually used a, a piece of cardstock that I stamped up another project that didn't work out. So I thought, hey, you know, it will certainly work for stamping up a sentiment. So don't waste things, even if it doesn't always look so good. So here we are. We're just gonna glue down those last little bits and then we're gonna trim down the excess bit. And I'm still kind of in that sort of like, do I make like a complete card out of the slimline or should I just use the back to kind of write on them? But there is a little bit of a mess on the back of this one, so I might need to actually make an, a card base. But um, here are the two cards done with the same stencil, but totally different results. So yeah, there we have it. Slimline Rainbow Stencil and the October release from Picket Fence Studios. I will link everything down below. Oh, here you can see the shimmer, by the way. Uh, I will link everything down below with the compensated affiliate links. And thank you so much if you choose to support me by shopping these links. They do not cost you anything extra at all, but help me keep everything fresh and fun for you guys. So thank you so much for today and I will see you soon again. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Bye now.